Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a video today, somewhat of a review, but also a demo on the Dentron Monitor Tuner 3K. I believe that's what this is. This is a roller inductor tuner from Dentron. I just got my hands on it and uh, we'll just do a quick demo. So as you can see on the front, we have the single needle versus a cross needle, cross needle meter single meter and uh, we have three options here we can put our forward power on the 200 watt scale or the 2000 watt scale or our reflected power so you have to select whether you're viewing forward versus reflected whereas on other cross needle meters you can view both at once so I'm running just a hundred watt radio I've got mine in the 200 watt scale and then on the right you can select from your three different feed lines, either your coax, your balanced line, or your wire antenna, and each of those connections are uh, available on the back panel. Then we have finally our transmitter variable capacitor, our inductor in the middle, and our antenna variable capacitor on the right. So what I'm doing today is just going through, oh and by the way, it is massive. It's uh, I think 15 inches by like 17 or 20 deep by probably 10 to 12 high. It's quite a deal. Here it is next to my TS820 Kenwood. So it's about twice the size of that um, and very heavy built. So what I'm doing today is just going through each band and getting my rough settings in the middle of the band so that when I flip to a new band I can quickly dial in the tuner pretty close and not waste a lot of time getting the antenna tuned up. So what I'm at now is uh, the 20 meter band and I'll just kind of give you a demo of what that looks like. So I like to use the antenna analyzer tuning method. So I use my analyzer to act as my transceiver when I'm tuning so that I have unlimited time to kind of sit and mess around with it versus having to be in a big hurry with my limited transceiver tune-up time. So we'll dial in the middle of the band here. It's about 14.275. Kind of hard to see that screen on camera. Let's see if I can find an angle that you can view. Okay, 14.275. Go as close as we can. It's a very fine dial. So what that's showing us now is how we're tuned, how good our antenna is on 20 meters, and it is not very good at all. We have infinite SWR, and we need to get down closer to one to one. So what we're going to do is typically start with our capacitors straight up, and then just turn the inductor, and you can hear how heavy of a click this inductor has. It's very well built. But what we're going to do is, as we turn that inductor, watch the right needle, which will become the left needle, and we want to look for a dip. So all of a sudden we'll get around here, and you'll see that needle drop. There it is. So we're at letter D for our dip there. Then I like to go to the transmitter capacitor and turn that looking for a further dip. Looks like it's about there. And then we'll go over to the antenna capacitor and turn that, looking for even a further dip. Oh boy, there it is. So that quickly, we're all the way down and I'll show you, try and show that screen. It's hard to see it. There we go. Uh, that SWR readout is giving us our digital readout of what the meter is saying. So right now it's 1.1 to 1, and we can get that to 1.0 with just a little bit of fine adjustment. There's our perfect 50 ohm 1 to 1 antenna. So then all I do is take my positions and write those down roughly. I'm not really going to the decimal point. Um, it's just a lot of work. So I'm just going to write down 3, letter D, and 7. 
3D7 over here on my little sheet. 20 meters, 3D7, and I'm ready to go. So I'll move on to the next band. If you have any questions on this tuner, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.